I, I, I wasn't paying attention. He performed extremely well for an LCS spot where Isles and Winsome. Isles comes from Cloud9 Academy. We're very okay. familiar with him, and he had an amazing summer split. He performed extremely well, having the highest KDA in the whole summer split. Okay, KDA, sure. KDA is fine. And he also was first in CSD at 10 minutes, CS per minute, and the highest CS percent. These are just three examples. Why does CS percent as a support mean that you're doing good? But being number one across the board in all of these different categories really shows that this player is trying very hard. No, it and, doesn't. You know, is ready for an LCS spot. No, it, that literally so, is that has nothing to do with how good he is. What? For Winsome, he comes from the LCK Academy League, and he is very good with his vision control. When we think about these two players, Isles is more lane dominant and had all these really high KDAs and stat wise from an aggressive standpoint. Winsome really shown from the warding standpoint, where he had the highest wards cleared per minute out of all of the support. Isn't that way, way more important than shit like KDA or... There's, they're trolling when it's, they're talking about fucking CS per minute as support, right? They're trolling. It's in his There's league, no way that they're serious. Also third highest for wards placed per minute. Why the fuck would you ever care about anything for support except for roams and warding and like team fighting and mechanical skill? Holy shit, I'm actually, I'm amazed. These are just two examples of how we analyzed, you know, various pickups for our support lane.